And today we're talking about, this is Mex XN 550. This is our automated analyzer in the uh, hematology lab. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to turn it on. So it is on in the back. You press the green button here and that should get things started. You see that the, um, the touch screen lights up. The, um, the barcode reader also lit up when it's first turned on. You don't really see much on the analyzer when this happens. So um, the little lights are gonna flash a little bit and you're gonna see um, the touch screen start doing some action here. For um, the first thing that you wanna do while you're doing that is make sure that you've got your QC out and the three levels are ready to go. Okay, so it's running through some self-checks. Um, we did have this analyzer um, not in use for uh, a week. And so what it's gonna ask us to do is to clean it before we start doing anything. Um, to clean it, we have the uh, cell count, cell clean auto here and uh, it is 5% bleach. It comes in a little tube here that has a barcode. All right, and so um, <clears throat> we put it into the manual mode. I'm going to uh, show you where that is when we get there. If I open it now, it's going to scream at me. So here, um, the red light says, we're not ready yet, okay? So we're gonna keep on um, waiting for this to get ready, I'll come back. All right, so we see some change happening on the screen here. We also see that the drawers were lit up and now they're uh, working. You didn't see the drawers light up, but they were red. Um, so it still means, you know, not ready. The green on the startup uh, bottom corner uh, means that it's getting going. So what we do first is we sign in. I'm not going to give you our sign in, so hold on. So when you see this, you're going to press on the administration button. Um, you put in the, the code. Now you can use the touch screen, you can use the keyboard, either is fine. Press enter or uh, use the touch screen and it's going to say that we're ready to go. It's still starting up um, at this point. Uh, you want to make sure that you've been letting your QC sit out to room temperature. We're still not going to get to run it first because it's going to have us run the uh, cell clean auto. I'm just waiting for it to say that. So it's still doing its self checks. This analyzer is able to run whole blood, diluted blood, and body fluids. We use the whole blood um, in manual analysis. So uh, that would be in the side door right here and you'll see that shortly. Um, that's where we're going to put our cell clean auto. The manual analysis is when you don't have a barcode reader uh, or you have a stat, um, sorry, a barcode on the specimen or you have a stat. Uh, you can manually put in the specimen information and that's what we're gonna have you do in class. <clears throat> the sampler analysis are the drawers here. You have two sets of drawers here and <clears throat> you're able to run many specimens at one time. The great thing about this analyzer is even when it's in drawer mode, it can also um, uh, be, you can also put a manual specimen on and interrupt the drawer processing uh, for a stat. So that's a really wonderful feature. So the analyzer is able to run uh, 20 specimens at a time using the drawers. There are 10 spots in each drawer um, at, <clears throat> and it runs the drawer separately. So you can uh, pull one drawer out, load it up, put it in and it'll start processing those. And then if you get more in, you can do the same with the other drawer. And like I said, you can interrupt it for manual mode as well. All right, it did not flag us to do the <clears throat> cell clean auto like I was hoping it was going to. 
uh, but we're gonna do it to make sure our analyzer is running really well. At the end of class, you do this procedure also. It's part of your uh, daily maintenance that you're going to do. So um, for most of your class periods, it's going to have been done and you wouldn't need to worry about it. If you say had um, a coagulation class instead of the regular uh, CBC type of running lab, then you would want to do this before you started anyway. So we're gonna um, make sure that it's in the ready state. It is, and I know that because I have the green light here. And so what I'm going to do is touch the maintenance menu, and then we're going to um, touch the rinse instrument. Now it gives us a whole list of things that we can do. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're gonna to touch the routine cleaning, okay? So that's the last one right here. So we're gonna to touch routine cleaning. Now it's gonna tell us what to do. So it's saying it's gonna take 15 minutes, all right? You, you wanna make sure that everything was done and that you don't have a specimen in the, uh, in the manual, <clears throat> the manual uh, sampler holder, okay? And we don't. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna take you over here. So I have my, my Cell Clean Auto here. It's got a barcode. Open it up here. The white is the normal, <clears throat> a normal sampler that you're going to use. If we had a bullet, like a baby unit, you can barely see it, but there's this black area here. It's an adapter. And <clears throat> so what we're going to do is press that manual button here so that it gets started. It'll take it in, see? It, bar it reads the barcode. Okay, you can't really tell because there's too much of a glare, uh, but it takes it into the back there, it reads the barcode, and then it's going to ask us to <clears throat> go ahead and pull it out again um, once it's done. I really tried to remove the glare here today, but the instrument, <laughs> the instrument, you can't really avoid it because it's got this beautiful glass panel on the front and I like that because students are able to look in and see what's happening um, it's just you know your camera doesn't pick that up so it just came out did you see that so we can pull it out we want to pull it out all right we got some blinking here it's going to show that it's in process in progress and since it's going to take 15 minutes I'm not going to sit here and and show you what it looks like the whole time, but uh, you always wanna make sure that you remove it immediately after it's done, um, pulling it in and scanning the barcode and <clears throat> close the door. And so the, um, during that time, the analyzer had pulled up the bleach solution from the cap. I don't know if you can see the hole right there. See, it's a puncture, it's a um, cap puncturing analyzer. So, well, there was a minute where you saw it. Um, <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about taking caps off of specimens or QC or anything. Uh, there is the open mode that is available as well, but we're in class going to be running the closed mode. So when the process finishes after 15 minutes, um, the dialog box is going to show that the instrument is going to power off and it automatically does that. So then uh, what you would do is start like we just started again, press that green button to turn it back on, and then we, we would start with our QC. So that's what we're going to do um, in the next video. If this was at the end of your class period time, um, you would have asked everyone in the classroom, are you done? Uh, with the Sysmex and you need to hear from everybody to make sure yes everybody's done and then you would do this process so this is going to be a video um, separated so you can watch this as a way to look at how to perform this task uh, <clears throat> but it is not it is not done outside of um, if you know if you ran the Sysmex um, more than the day of class in our uh, week, 
then you wouldn't need to do this at the beginning. Remember, it's only if it's been over a week that the analyzer has been in use. And that's just to make sure we don't get build up um, in the tubing, on the probe, and all of that so that we have an accurate analysis. So I, I want to clear up one thing. I know that I said that our cell clean auto is a daily maintenance. It's just for us. Um, in our classroom lab. Daily maintenance includes the shutdown process, any reagent replacement that needs to happen. Um, <clears throat> so that that's um, if you were using this in a hospital laboratory or a physician's office, you would make sure that you did those as your daily maintenance, um, those procedures, whereas the cell clean auto is just weekly. Um, I think I stated it well that this is done weekly, but since we have class one day a week, um, it's our daily maintenance and weekly maintenance. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up. Another thing I'd like to mention is that this cell clean auto tube can only be used once. All right, um, if, you, <laughs> if you try to use it again, there's not as much reagent um, or bleach rather left anymore. And so all you're going to do is um, have an issue with um, maybe bubbles in the line or not enough solution going through to get rid of that buildup like you would want. So uh, we're still waiting on uh, this to finish up. I kind of just wanted to show you what it looks like right before it turns off. This is a walk away procedure. You can absolutely put the cell clean auto on and walk away. Uh, it's 15 minutes and then it automatically shuts down. So at the end of class, you don't need to stand here and watch it and make sure it turns off. It absolutely will turn off. I just wanted to make sure you saw what it looks like before it turns off. Okay, we're towards the end here now and there's a lot of commotion happening <laughs> that was happening in the actual analyzer itself. Um, it's showing you that there is a not ready light because it's shutting down all right so it just shuts back down it looks a lot like <clears throat> what it did when we first turned it on red light there says it's not ready and that's what it looks like and really there's nothing else uh, to show you as it's shutting down Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Please make sure to watch the next video um, oh, in this series, which would be uh, Operation and uh, QC. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.